Hey everybody, this is Dan with Data Trend. Today is Thursday, uh, let me look here, December 4th, 2014. It's about 6.05 a.m. Mountain Time. So we are uh, an hour and a half before the equity markets open here in the U.S. What I wanted to do this morning is follow up on uh, the IWM butterfly. The January butterfly looks pretty okay right now. There isn't really much to be said, but I'm, I'm looking at an adjustment for the December IWM butterfly. Um, and I just wanted to show you that and show you what I'm thinking. So before we get into that, uh, the position itself, I want to just take a look at shorter term price. So what we're looking at right now is a 90 day, 65 minute chart of the Russell 2000 IWM. Uh, the yellow line here is the five day moving average. So we had a couple of closes here recently where we were below the five day moving average. It started to decline. Uh, then price hopped up yesterday, closed up above it. Uh, so, so I'm kind of looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, does the Russell 2000 have the potential to make new highs in here? So it, it, to me, it looks a little bit mixed, I guess is, is my takeaway, but it, it can always do whatever it wants. Right now, we're kind of coming into an area where there's a little bit of resistance or potential resistance, I should say. Um, and I'd call that somewhere up around, you know, 117. 80 up to 118 somewhere in there and that's sort of where the market found some sellers yesterday you can see these candles are showing some selling coming in coming in um, on the shorter term time frame though we still have this pattern of higher highs and higher lows uh, you know here here up here you know so the question is I think the the, the more important level right now is kind of somewhere around this, you know, 115.65 or something like that, we can see that that level has acted as support several times in here, um, you know, and so it's been tested a few times. And I think if we get down below this level and find resistance there, then we're definitely, you know, uh, risking heading lower. But for the time being, uh, things look sort of neutral to me in here. Um, above this level, I'm going to be a little bit uncomfortable and I'm going to be a little bit concerned. We can call that 118 quarter. So that's right in here. I'll draw a line for you as well. But we'll just remember that level, 118.25 or so. And, and it actually, incidentally, is a significant level for the butterfly position itself. But let's go ahead and go over to the Analyze tab, and I'll show you what I'm looking at here. So this is the IWM butterfly for December. All of this stuff down here, these are previous adjustments that I made. Um, the initial butterfly at 109 that was sold out for a small loss. Um, and then everything up here is selected that is a December expiration. And the only things I've unselected are the January options, and that's for the January butterfly. And we'll look at that briefly, but there really isn't much to be said about it at this point. So right now what we're looking at is the position uh, as it sits. So. The Russell 2000 is around 117.37. Where did it close yesterday? It was somewhere, somewhere nearby that. Yeah, 117.37, so that's accurate. I guess the pre-market hasn't shown up in here. But at any rate, um, and I guess the futures are essentially unchanged, so it's probably trading around the same price. But at any rate, we have an open profit of around $45 on the position. Um, what I don't like is that we have the potential for upside. And this 118.17 is pretty close to that 118.25, 118 quarter level that we talked about. And so that's where we go to being down money on the T plus zero line. We're still within the expiration graph, but that's when we start um, not looking so hot. So I guess my question is how long do we have to get up there? You know, are we going to get up there today? Are we going to get up there tomorrow? Are we going to get up there in a week? Or are we not going to get up there? You know, if we don't get up there, that's great. If we sell off a little bit more and we can just, you know, sort of hang in here and say like 115 to 117, we'll all be happy campers. Um, but we don't know if that's going to happen, so we just need to be aware of it and watching the market. So this 118 quarter level is kind of where I'm looking to think about making some sort of an adjustment. Um, and what I've done is I've sort of played with some different things, and I, I think there are two options. Um, option number one is to buy some premium in here. And so if we were to look at that, let's say we decided to buy a January call um, and we're short 50 deltas, as you can see right here. And 
say we wanted to cut that in half or so, and so we decided, okay, well, we're going to buy the 27 delta call to cut that in half for about a buck. Um, so you can see it comes in down here, the 121. And what does that look like? What does that do to our position? Okay, well, that really flattens things out. It cuts our delta in half, takes our theta down a bit, um, and it brings our gamma off. This is sort of not going to do a lot for us if we continue up above 118 and continue higher. This is sort of an adjustment, I guess, is something that I would do if I was really concerned about it through the weekend. You know, say we were at 118 going into the weekend, um, and I just don't want to show up on Monday morning and have Russell at 120 with a huge loss. This is something that, you know, maybe I buy in just to, to buy myself some time and some peace of mind. Because uh, say Russell comes and opens at 120 on Monday morning. Here we're looking at a loss of $35. Not great, but not horrible either. Without this, you know, Russell opens at 120. You know, suddenly we're down $125 and we're, you know, less than two weeks to expiration or so. So that's sort of discouraging. We, we wouldn't want to come into that on Monday morning. Um, I guess we can snooze that because it's what we're doing right now. So another option we have is to take a look at the inventory that's open up here and think about what we could roll. Um, so right now I'm looking at my short options. And so I've got 113s, I've got one at 115, I've got some short at 117, and I've got some short at 119. So what if we were to do, you know, say take off the 113s and move those up to 115? Um, what does that look like? So what I've done here is I've thrown in a vertical. Um, it's not selected at this time, but it's to move the 113, so we're buying two and moving those to 115. So what does that do to our expiration graph? Well, what that does is it, it cuts our delta, not quite in half, but it definitely cuts it down. Um, gamma, I think, stays about the same. Yeah, so it actually goes up a little bit. Uh, and then theta does increase as well because we're moving this to options that have a little more premium. Um, and if we wake up, you know, at 120, we're down $80. So this is not as, um, not as great, I guess, is sort of the thing. We'd still be needing a pullback here to, to kind of weasel our way out of this position. Um, what it does do is it pushes up the expiration profit here, um, and it gives us, you know, a little bit of extra juice if, if we can stay somewhere in that 115 to 117 range, something like that. Um, but initially it doesn't, but it, it will at expiration. And so let's take a look at the position, say, a few days from today, we decide to do nothing. So we're at 12.4. Let's just say we go out to next Tuesday. You know, suddenly we are up a little over $100 if we stay at the exact same price. If we move down here, we're getting close to that $200 um, that was hoping to pull out of this. And so we're getting to a point where maybe that's going to be possible. Um, if we're up, you know, up and above 118, you know, suddenly we're profitable. It's this 120-ish, if we get into there, that we're still in trouble no matter what. Um, if we add back in that, that long call and we're at 120, you know, we're still just down $30, so it's not horrible. We could actually sit in that a little bit um, just because this is a January option rather than a December. So those are a couple of adjustments that I'm looking at. And I'm just thinking at, thinking about for the time being, you know, it's really going to be that 118 quarter level is something that I'm watching right now. And if we're up and above that, um, then I'm probably going to need to do something. I don't have to, but it's the um, responsible thing to do. Let's call it that. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the January butterfly briefly as well. So, you know, right now what we're looking at is... Russell again at 117.39. It looks like we're getting a little pre-market data in here. Um, not a significant change from yesterday. The open profit is, oops, that's 12.9, so let's go back to today. The open profit is somewhere like around 10 or $11, something like that. Um, there's nothing to be said or done here, really. We're just sitting within the, the expiration break even and hanging out. This level here up around 120 is gonna be the add point and the adjustment level. And I would be throwing on another butterfly if we started getting, you know, up and above 120. Um, we have a little ways to go before we get there. So for now, we're just kind of hanging out, and we're going to see what happens. At any rate, I hope that helps. Feel free to post comments on the blog, www.thetatrend.com, if you have questions about this. 
Um, alternatively, you can send me an email, info, I-N-F-O, at thetatrend.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.